So here we're looking at the reports section. First of all, we have comments. These comments are being fed through from other areas of the Moodle site, from, uh, for example, the comments block that teachers can add into courses, comments on glossary entries, comments on wiki pages. And this page simply gives administrators an ability to see all those comments and to delete them, for example, if they are inappropriate. The backups report obviously shows us the state of overnight course backups or scheduled course backups. Um, hopefully we see the status as okay on all of those. You may see pending, you may see failures, and obviously that is your first indication that you need to investigate further the causes of, of why those courses are not backing up successfully. Config changes. This is a very useful page. If you have a number of administrators on your site, there may be changes that have been made to the site. And this allows you to see not only the change that was made, but also who made it. So if you do have you know, a junior administrator or someone who's learning and you've changed something and it hasn't worked out too well, you can, you can go back through this screen and see who changed what and, and maybe ask why or you know, put it back to its initial value or, or resolve it in some other way. Uh, a very useful page for administrators. We also have course overview which shows us information about the courses across your site. Uh, useful to keep an eye on this. Obviously, there's different parameters you can use to search for courses, but uh, it does give a good instant overview of what's happening across your site. We have an events list. This shows us all the events that can be triggered or are triggered within the Moodle site. Uh, and for each module so for example lots of events related to the badge module and then as we go down we'll find lots of events uh, linked to blogs or comments for example so this is really just a list that enables you to understand and and see and filter for particular types of events and we'll, we'll see this uh, a little bit later we have of course our logs just like on any server or system we have logs and you can filter by the site or a specific course by individuals or all participants obviously select a number of days uh, lots of options and then when you click get the logs these logs have returned to you you can see them straight away um, and you'll see that a user with a particular ID has viewed a course with an ID. Uh, you'll also see the IP address that could be useful if you've got uh, some unexpected behavior on your site. And you may also see the origins such as web or um, mobile device. So very useful for understanding what's happening or what's happened across your site. And as well as the actual logs, we also have live logs. So these are the logs from the last hour, uh, which continually update. It's probably not a good idea if you've got a server that's struggling for for a processing power or memory, you know, that isn't performing wonderfully, then you probably wouldn't want this site just left open permanently because every 60 seconds it's going to um, poll your site. So you can pause those updates and then resume them later on. The performance overview page gives us a quick overview of the performance within the site and some indicators that, that may just uh, remind you that these things take processing power. So automated backups, you know, we most sites will want to run course backups. This is enabled, but of course it does remind us that during that backup process, the server will be slower because it's using a lot of resources. So these are really just uh, good indicators of the overall performance. And certainly if you've got anything uh, in red, you'd want to investigate further there. 
as well as that we can see the question instances so every question type that's used across the site uh, I'll just do all at this stage so we can see that on this site obviously it's just a testing site we have one particular question and it's in this course and it's visible uh, clearly on a active site you're going to see a lot more questions and uh, be able to understand how that module is being used across your site we have a security overview as well now here straight away we can see there's a potential security issue in that the flash filter is enabled on this site as you'll know lots of people moving away from flash now because of the inherent security issues however you may have a site that that uses flash video and you need to have that enabled so it so this is important to notice but uh you know in some cases the warning as long as you understand why it's there then uh, that that could be okay um, perhaps one here that I would pick up on is that the config.php file on this site is can be written, can be changed, and that should be totally restricted to only the root of the server. So that is a security issue that I'd want to address in this particular case. Lots of good information in there. We have statistics. These will um, over time provide you with a good snapshot of how your site is being utilized and as well as the graphs and being able to set up different filters you can also scroll down and there's a tabulated view of that information as well which can be uh, pretty useful and you can export that event monitoring rules we mentioned the events list earlier and this is where you can create a new rule or a new event uh, to monitor so as an example I might say I want a notification whenever a quiz is submitted on this site so I could say okay let's pick the quiz area let's look at when a quiz is submitted I can provide a description to myself of, of why I've set this up and then obviously we'll see further down there's some information that can be put into that notification message so once you've created those rules you see a rule here that is a uh, setup for reminding me as an administrator when a new user has has been created on the site and I can uh, for instance I can go into the settings here and change that um, but what I've actually done is subscribe to it. So using the subscription from event monitoring, I'm able to subscribe to that rule uh, or, or unsubscribe. Obviously, uh, I may subscribe in some periods, not in others, depending on what this rule is. Um, this is a huge area of Moodle and you really need to read up quite a lot about the different events and the types and who can subscribe and and what type of things can be monitored but it is a it is extremely powerful in fact and um, probably underused by by many administrators and then finally in that reports area we have a spam cleaner which is just looking f uh, a text file which has lots of typical spam words in there. Um, you can auto detect the common spam patterns and you can also in fact create and add to that list if you really wanted to. Or you can search for a specific word if you think you're being spammed by a, a particular, um, you know, particular keyword. So in that Moodle reports area, for administrators lots of interesting information that you can see about your system and you know from time to time maybe once a month once a week it's worth just quickly rifling through that list mm -hmm.